Hi everyone, Suklan here and in this video I will build my complete Shopify store from scratch. I will show you how to add and customize sections, how to build a complete stunning homepage for your store so that by following these exact steps you will have a complete store ready to begin selling your products online. I have also just built a complete free dropshipping guide and I will talk about that at the end of this video. So once you finish sign up, you will be directed to that dashboard. If you have not yet signed up for Shopify, I have mentioned the link below. You will get a free trial and only $1 for first three months. I have installed a complete new theme to show you how you can customize your theme. Now first go straight to the theme section and choose a theme of your choice. You can even test any of these themes by viewing the demo stores they have built already or by simply applying any of these themes to your store. There are plenty of paid themes available as well, but in this video I have choose Dawn which is the most popular free theme. When you have finalized a theme of your choice, simply click on add and it will be added to your Shopify store. After you have opened the customized section, if you look on the left side, we have basically three main sections for our front page. The first section is header part and then we have template part or we can say that this is the body of our home page. In this template part, we can add different sections and these sections can be sliders, banners, collections, products, promotions, or you can add something about your brand. And I will show you how we can add all of them to our home page. And then at the end, we have a footer section, which is mostly used to display your store information like social media links, your contact information, or other pages, for example, shipping and return policy. There is a mobile view as well, but in this video, I will focus on just desktop view because all of the themes are mobile optimized and once you customize the theme on desktop view, it will be automatically customized on mobile as well. So I will start from the first part, which is the header part. Now, before I explain the header, there is an announcement section which you can use to promote any offer or free shipping. And you can also add a link for that specific announcement as well. Then we have our header part and in this section you will be able to update your store logo and menu. I have used Canva to design my logo and all other graphic design work for my website. I have mentioned the link in description if you want to use that tool. Simply go to canva.com and then click on logo section. In this section you can use and customize different logos already over here or you can make your own by using the elements and design in Canva. Like I have designed my logo by simply picking an element from Canva. So once you have finished designing your logo, simply download that in transparent background and you can now upload that logo in header section at logo position. You can also increase logo size on desktop by going in this section. But for me, this is the best size which looks more better. Above logo, in this theme section, we can put our social media links and then all of these icons will be displayed in our footer. There is also an option to enable or disable search bar and we can also choose how we want to display our cart page when customer add the product to shopping cart. And I mostly choose the pay type for my website. And then we have a padding section. That's mean you can change the position of your logo from upper or lower part of your theme. For example, if I do increase the top padding, you can see the space between the logo and upper side of theme has been increased and same if I increase the padding from the bottom, it is gaining more distance from slider. So at that moment, I am leaving that as it is. And then we have spacing part, which is to increase the space between two sections. You can also change the logo position on mobile view if you want, like my logo is set as center for mobile view. And if I go into mobile view section and select my logo position to left, it will be displayed on left for only mobile view. And on desktop, it will show on middle. And then we have the language and country region section. And we can also change the color of our menu as well by going into menu color scheme. We can also change the color of our header like this. You can also choose your sticky header position. For example, if I choose always, it will stick always on the top. And if I choose only for scroll up, it will show only when I scroll up. And then we have two last sections. One is for desktop logo position and other is to choose the menu for your store. I will show you now how you can create menus for your store. Simply go to online store, 
and then go into navigation. So here are the menus which I have created for my store, but you can create easily by going into add menu and then choose a name of the menu of your store. This is for your own reference and this information will not be displayed to your customers. Then click on add menu items like you can add your home page or any other product collections. You can also add sub collections as well under major menus like if you want to add a sub collection of cell phones, you can add Apple, Samsung, Nokia and whatever comes under this menu. So once the menu has been finalized, now you can link that menu to your store by simply going into the menu section. Now after we have finished our header part, the next big thing is our home page template section and this will show how exactly our store looks. So in this template section, we have other sections which is image banner, feature collections, image with text, rich text, multi-column and much more. And I will show how we can use each of these sections to build our storefront page. Now as you can see, we can also drag these sections to adjust in any order. Ok, first I start with image banner section. So this image banner section basically has three blocks. One is for heading of the banner which I have used already. And then we have the text block to put any text related to our banner or product. And at the end we have button block like shop now or learn more. Now the question is how we can actually design this kind of image and what size we can use so that it does not look ugly. Well, as I told you earlier, I have used Canva, so go straight to the Canva. And then, if you are going to make a banner for down theme, which I have been using at that time, you can choose the size 1000 into 300 for the image banners and sliders. This is the best suitable banner size, which has a better look on desktop and mobile. Now, I will quickly show you how I designed my banner in Canva. Once you have choose the right size, you will get a page like that. Now go into color section to choose your background color or you can simply choose a background by going into background section on left side. And this is the background which I have used for my banner. You can choose any of them. Now after that, the next thing I did was to upload my images in Canva and for that simply go into upload section on the left side and then upload your product images. As I have already uploaded, so I will simply put them here. Now as you can see, my product has a white background. I will simply remove that background so that image should show as transparent and I can use any of background of my choice. Simply go to edit photo and then into background remover section. Now you can also upload your second image like this. So if you go back in theme section, you can see we have to add a text here as well about our product. So I have just made this image a less transparent so that the text I add here after uploading my banner in the theme section should look more clear like that. Once you have finalized your banner, the next step is to upload that by simply going into banner section. You can also upload a second image but I will recommend to upload one. We also do have an image overlay option here to make our banner more or less transparent. And then we have a section to adjust our image and I would recommend to select this option as well because it will show your banner in real size. And then we have a section to adjust our content position for desktop view. We can adjust our content wherever we like. And we have the option to show a container on desktop. So these are all the options you can use to optimize the look of your banner. Like if I want to show the container on mobile, my website will look like this on mobile. And if I don't want to show the container, then it will look like this. Now I will go back into main template section. Okay, so I don't want this block here and I will simply delete that. Now you can see my image banner section is complete. Once you have finished your image banner section, you can also add your text section by going here. Let's say if I want to add feature collection section, I can simply go here and then add feature collection which I have added already and I will explain how you can create a collection to link it here. Go back to your main dashboard and then go into products. In product section, you can see collections. Go here to create a collection and then name your collection like camera, claws, cell phone or whatever. And then select the collection type, which in my case, I am going to add products manually and now save that collection. Once you have created the collection, the next step is to add product in that collection. 
And for that, I have already made a special video how to add products to your Shopify store. You can check the link in description for that video. Now, once we have added products and linked that products to our collection, we will now link that collection on our home page to display our products. Simply go into feature collection sections which you have added already and then name your collection like most selling, new arrival or simply feature collections and choose a heading size of your collection. Choose any specific settings and then link your collection here which you have just created. You can also choose maximum products to show on your home page and can select number of columns to show for desktop view. If your collection has more products, then you can choose view all option. You can also change the look of that button as well. So these are some quick settings for your collections. You can choose the color scheme. You can select the image shape and ratio. And if your product has more images, you can choose this option to show as a second image of your product when customer hover on your product. You can also choose to display product ratings and then you can also add a quick add button. Using this button, customer can add the product to their card without visiting the product page. And then we have mobile layout options in which you can choose how many number of columns you want to show on mobile view. Like one column will show like this and two column will show like this. You can also enable or disable swipe as well to show on mobile. And then at the end we have top padding and bottom padding sections which I have explained earlier in banner section. So these are to increase or decrease the distance of that section from upper or lower section. Ok so now our feature collection part is completed and I will go back to main section. The next section is image with text. As I told you earlier you can add next section by going here and you can also add by sliding down the main section like this. And after you have added any section you can drag them up or down the order like this. Now I am going to add image with text section and this is the same like banner section we have added at the top. This section is mostly used to add a single product on your home page so this section has same blocks like image, heading, text and button. When you go into that section on top of that we have an image part to add which I have used the square dimensions like 1000 by 1000 for that image. And then we can also adjust the height of the image. After that we have some desktop settings and at the end some mobile view settings like I show you earlier in previous sections. So I have added product heading, a simple text about that product and then call to action button at the end. The next section which I have added is the simple read text and this is used to show any brand information or any deals you are offering at that time. Now I will show you how we can add multi column and this section can be used to display product in detail or you can also use that section to show reviews of your customers like I did. Now again I have made that images in Canva and size of these images is 940 by 788. I have mentioned all the links of my images in description you can check them to customize for free. Now when you go into multi column section you can first choose your heading like I have used to show my reviews. And then you can select a heading size and all other settings like number of columns and mobile layout as I briefed earlier in previous sections. Now here is the almost last section which I have added by designing an image in Canva. And I will show you quickly how I did that. I choose the banner size and then I choose the template by searching here in design. I then make few changes in that design by adding the text and review element. So in that way my image is almost finalized. So after adding the banner image, I removed all the other blocks of that section like heading, text and button. Because I have already added the text using the canva. Now I add a button here in the bottom by using the other section and which is the rich text. And I also removed all other blocks of that section, only had the button section for my banner and made this padding very low so that it looks like a single banner. Now I will come to my last section and which is FAQs like frequently asked questions. So I simply added this section and put the content which I think is more relevant to my customer queries. At the end we have a footer on our home page and for that we need to add some pages and menus which we can link here to show our store info or shipping policy. Now we will go back to our main home page and I will show how we can create different pages. Go into online store and then go into pages. You can create your own pages here as I have just already created. 
but you can also use Shopify auto template settings to create pages for you. Go into settings and then put your store detail first like your store name, address and other things. Now just scroll down and go into policies. You can use this section to create return policy, shipping policy, privacy policy and your contact information pages. Simply click on the replace with template. It will be created automatically. If you want to create other pages like about us, you can also do that by going into pages section under online store. Now after you have created all the pages, you can now create the footer menus like I showed you earlier by simply going into navigation and then add menu. After your menu has been created for the footer, you can now customize your footer section, go into footer section and then add a menu and link that footer menu you just have created. This footer menu should include your shipping policy page, return page or any other necessary pages like contact us or about us. You can also add your store contact information by adding the text block in footer. So this is how your footer will look like when you connect all the menus. Now our storefront page is completed and this is how it looks on desktop and mobile. So at the end I will show some quick settings to launch your store. Go back to your Shopify dashboard and then on the left bottom go into settings. Now on top of that we have store detail section which you can add detail about your store as I told you earlier. And then we have a plan section which you can use to select your monthly Shopify plan. And when you upgrade your plan will get more features like less transaction fee, more user permissions to manage your store and more advanced features like shipping and international pricing. Next we have the user and permission section where you can add anyone to manage your store or to work on your theme. Then we have the payment section where you can enable Shopify payments on your store if you are living in a country where Shopify payments works. And if you are not located in any of those countries, you can connect other payment gateways to your store which are available in your country like Stripe, PayPal, Afterpay and other payment gateways. Then we have the checkout section to customize our checkout page like which information you need from your customers while checking out. Do you need only email or phone number and you can also add a tipping option at checkout which is obviously a good option to have some extra bucks. Next we have shipping and delivery section where you can choose to offer local pickup to your customers and you can also update your shipping rates as well. And then most important we have the app section which can be used to install different apps to your store like fulfillment, reviews, bulk pricing, email marketing and many other apps to help the increased conversion rate and overall capacity of your business. I will talk more about apps in any other video. Make sure to subscribe the channel to get notified. And then at the end we have domain section where we can buy a new domain for our store from Shopify or we can link an existing domain if you have bought already from GoDaddy or any other provider. You can simply put the domain name here and follow the simple instructions to connect your domain automatically with your Shopify store. So that's all for today and regarding my free Shopify guide, I have mentioned the link in description. You can simply get that by putting your email address at checkout. You can choose any amount to pay if you want but make sure to enter zero to get it for free. I have also mentioned the link in description to sign up for free Shopify trial and then only $1 for first 3 months. Make sure to avail the opportunity if you want to begin selling online. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any questions, make sure to ask them in comment section and I will be back soon with more useful content.